Hi and Assalamu alaikum. Uh, for this video, I'm going to show you how to use external tool as one of the activities options. Okay, uh, I would like to show on how to use Padlet. When we say external tool, we are actually using something that is out of Putra Blast. Um, the ones that I like to use is usually Padlet because I can use it for a lot of things. For example, I use it for ice breaking. Uh, I use it for um, opinions from students. I ask students to capture their, uh, their, their, their assignments in there or probably when I ask them to do like ACL in class, for example, mind mapping in class, I ask them to upload it over here so that everybody can have access to it. So stuff like that, anything, basically it's it's up to you what you want to do with it. Uh, I can show you an example here. See, I have ice breaking for my students. Okay, in the class I use Padlet. Right, some of them even can upload um, pictures, files, stuff like that. And I also use it um, to monitor their assignment as well. I have uh, they have to invite school to come over, and so they use it to update things as well. Okay, so it's a very useful tool. This Padlet. So let's just go straight away to Padlet. So uh, you go to Padlet.com. Okay, you can just like Google it, and then it will just pop up. And then um, first things first, you're gonna have to sign up. On sign up you have the option of signing up with Google Facebook or maybe you can use your other email addresses it's up to you as for me I prefer to go with Google because I already signed into Google just choose which Google account you want okay and then you will come to this dashboard so I already have an account uh, so I already have some activities on this dashboard if you're quite new, I think this dashboard is going to be quite empty. So, if you want to create a new Padlet, you go up here, New Padlet, click on this. Alright, and this will pop up. And then, you would want to go to the right most bottom where it says Modify this Padlet. Click on this. And this will come up. Okay, so you can choose uh, what your icon you want to uh, that you want to choose. Okay, and if, if you click on it, you see it will pop over here. That's your portrait or icon. Okay, and then um, title. Just type in. Let's say I'm just gonna go with ice breaking. Right. And then I'll, for the description part over here, see description. And you can just like write my thing. Introduce your name. What hometown? And what's your future plan? Okay, and just, there you go, you already have that over there. Okay, and then um, you can also change the wallpaper. See, click on the wallpaper and you can change which one you want. It has a lot of options. Okay, I'm just going to choose one, maybe sky. See, it's kind of beautiful. See, there's many, many options that you can choose from. You can even have your own options if you want. But let's not go into that. See, add your own over here. You can add in your own wallpaper if you want. And then layout. Whether you want the response from your students to be in a free form like this, or you want to be, you want it to be in a stream like, like this, right? Like all going down or you want it to be in grid like this one I would not suggest free form because when there's too many um, uh, response from your students it's just gonna be too cluttered 
so I usually go with stream or grid but again it's up to you okay let's just go with stream right and uh, let's look at the address right if you look at the address right now it is actually is in random uh, alphabets and numbers okay um, you can see that this is the name of my account Putra Blast 2015 and then slash random whatever okay you can actually choose uh, you can actually uh, choose your own address at the back here because it's gonna be very hard for you to give this link to someone okay so go again to modify this padlet you go to address okay and then click on this one pick a padlet.com address click on that one and so padlet.com slash putra blast 2015 slash what do you want maybe I'll go with ice breaking right there you go ice breaking ice breaking ice breaking if it says here available you can just like click on pick if it says here um, you know like there's like a, a, a red wrong not available then you can't choose that one you're gonna have to go with another uh, address so click pick and there you go voila ice breaking at the back no more random alphabets and numbers okay so how it works I'm just gonna go click one just double click anywhere and this thing will pop up okay just gonna write title as my name and then just write anything blah 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 so this is how the students can actually respond to and they also have the option of um, adding attachments if they want to all right they can add it from the uh, from the web they can also upload they can also take photos and submit this press submit okay um, yes same thing so I think this is a very cool tool that you can use and how would you want to actually transfer this into your Putra Blast? Right, it's actually very easy. You go into Share or Export, okay? And then you can copy this one, Embed, and the Embed, you click this one and copy. Right, then you go to your Putra Blast. Again, you're gonna have to turn editing on. You go to add an activity or resource, click on external tool, and click add. Uh, just write anything, uh, activity name, padlet, right. Click show more, right. And find this thingy over here. I don't know what's the sign, but just click on this one. Edit, edit HTML source. So remember just now, you copy this embedding code in Padlet. So you just go back and paste it. And click update. So you can see that over here, very small, but it's already there. And then click display. Right, display description and course page. So you already um, click display description and course page, and you also have the option of wanting the display of your uh, Padlet. Okay, whether it should be embedded in this Putra Blast, or you want it to be in existing window, you know, this window, or you want you want it to be uh, a pop-up another another page right another window okay so you can choose which one you want I'm just gonna go with default there's so many options as well but just to make it simple 
just a few things just the activity name the activity description that i've already embedded using this one and don't forget to display description on course page and just straight away and save and return to course Ta-da! you already have it over here so the students can uh, straight away see when i click when i double click they can straight away do it in this putra blast without going you know into another window right you don't even have to give them the link because it's already here in the putra blast they can just respond straight away in putra blast so i hope this helps thank you very much Thank <music> you.